All right, everybody. All right, so here's another uh, one of my great YouTube videos on a Royal Tiger Imports uh, number four Mark III Lee Enfield turn in condition. This was, you know, they're slightly more expensive ones, 500 turn in condition. What the fuck's that mean? Well, it means whatever this is. So, uh, for 500 bucks, did I get screwed? So let's take a look. All right, there's not really any cracks. Muzzles looking fine. You know, they did uh, import marks right there, which is fine, you can't really see it. Um, you know, I just wanted one because I sold my other one or my other Lee Enfield number four Mark III to a guy for 800 bucks which is more than it's worth, but I wanted the money. Money, money, money makes the world go round, let's be honest. Uh, so, so far looking good, not bad, not bad. The little bruises in the stock, but nothing, nothing appears to be cracked. Bolt, super smooth. It's dirty in there, but not too, too bad. I mean, it would be a simple clean. There's a serial number if anybody wants to commit a Lee Enfield crime. Uh, it's, I'm not sure if this is the milled or stamped. I can't really tell the difference, but it's missing the little slider, slider thing. And I can't seem to find it, find it anywhere. So Lee Enfield mark, uh, what is it? That's uh, whatever that says. So yeah, so it's missing that. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I looked at like Apex gun parts, they didn't seem to have any, they had the sight, which I'll probably end up just buying a new sight. Um, safety catch, let's see if that works. Yeah, it does, it does, it works good. Um, so let me take it off safe. That's it. Um, so who made it? Well. This is where I'm not an expert, but FR 1963 RFI, so I'm pretty sure that's Royal Factory uh, Ish, Ishapur, you know, India. Um, I don't know if this was made in India and then refurbished. I, don't, I thought they only made the Mark number one Mark threes, so I don't, I don't know if this was refurbished by them. Uh, it's like a wartime gun. I don't know, but you know, for this was during that uh, sale they had where it was like 600, you got, if you spend 600, you get like a hundred off or some shit or 10% off. Uh, so am I upset with the purchase? No. Um, would I think $500 is okay to pay for this? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I think we'll clean up nicely. Just a little pissed off about this, but there's nothing you can do about it. It's Royal Target Imports that fuck you one way or another. Um, their website sort of sucks. You know, I would say that if I met Ulia or whatever the fuck his name is, um, I'm sure he's a good dude. But, you know, website does, it's kind of like black and dark and just depressing. Uh, yeah, so, oh, it's got the, you know, sling swivels, they're still here, and it's got the rear one, doesn't appear to be honestly missing any screws or anything, it, it's dirty as shit, but, you know, that's, I'll watch like a bridge too far as I clean this or something tonight, I don't got a girlfriend, so I got, you know, no one who loves me, so I might as well clean my guns and watch old war movies, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, um, magazine let's see let's take a look i already had it out it's just dirty y'all really want to care i'll show you now well, let's see here but i'm gonna do this on camera let's see here hmm. You're looking at me and my dirty legs you filthy filthy gun nerds i mean it looks good it looks good think about getting one of those birthdays that they got Pro, that would probably be a piece of shit, though, let's be honest. Yeah. Hmm. So, rifle, if anyone knows anything, just put it in the comments. I never respond to any of you, and I never will. 
Uh, just because, you know, it's mostly people saying, like, bro, dude, gun, awesome. But, so, would I recommend buying a Lee Enfield from Royal Tiger Imports? I mean, why not? My cat's crying. I don't know if you can hear him in the background. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it depends on what you're going to do with it. This is probably going to shoot okay. It's not going to be super accurate. Uh, my cat's fine. He's just being an asshole. If you can hear him in the background crying. Um, if you're going to do like reenacting or whatever, I think, you know, get one of their B models because they're already beat up. And if you reenacting, it just, you're just going to beat it up more. Oh, it's got a brass butt plate that's actually in pretty good shape. So that's, that's pretty cool. So yeah. Am I, if, am I happy with it? Yeah. Um, um I am. I am. I'll probably go to the range, do a little bit of shooting with this. So, but all right, listen, uh, like and subscribe. Just watch this video as much as you can. Um, I get like seven cents for every thousand views. So I need to eat and you're going to make me eat. And I need to buy more old guns for you to watch. You know, my cat needs a meow. So, all right, well. I have another video coming. It will be super sketchy or awesome. I don't know. But all right. I love you. Like and subscribe. Love you again. Goodbye.